Hey Lake Grove, this is the Video Devo for 365 story number 313, Beggar by the Roadside. It's from the end of the Gospel of Mark chapter 10. I think you know now to read the story before listening to the rest of this. Well, my last Video Devo was two weeks ago today and it was the story of Jesus healing a blind man in Bethsaida. And in that devotional, I made reference to a different blind man, Bartimaeus of Jericho. And that is who our story is about today. If you worshipped with us yesterday, you know that Mark spoke of Zacchaeus and his encounter with Jesus in Jericho. And now Jesus is leaving Jericho, preparing to head up the hill towards Jerusalem, and as he exits the city, he is called out to by a blind man sitting at the entrance to the city. Yeah, Jesus exiting, the man's at the entrance. Exit and entrance to the city are the same place, of course, depending on which direction you're going. Except during coronavirus, when the grocery stores, of course, have designated one door for the entrance and the other for the exit. Whatever. Bartimaeus hangs out at the gate where people from the direction of Jerusalem are entering the city. And I think he does this because they are the more prosperous folks from the big city coming down to spend their money in the oasis town of Jericho. The other gate, the northern gate, would have had people entering from Galilee and other places not as financially well off. So Bartimaeus has his spot where he sits every day begging for alms. Spare change? Just a dollar for a bit of food? That's all he ever asks for. Charity. A tangible touch of compassion. And he hears a lot at the city gate, and he has picked up on the news that the increasingly well-known teacher slash healer from Galilee is in town. And now, now, he hears a commotion coming from within the city streets and probably hears things like, hey, what's going on? Who is it? I think it's that miracle worker from Nazareth. And Bartimaeus, moved by the Holy Spirit, I believe, quickly changes his plea from alms for the poor, spare change, just a dollar for a bit of food, to Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the people around him, possibly even the, some of the disciples try to shush him, but he just yells even louder. And Jesus stops and invites him over and asks him, what do you want me to do for you? To which Bartimaeus simply says, teacher, that I may see again. And Jesus heals Bartimaeus without touching him, without uh, spitting on his eyes without making mud with his spit and putting it on his eyes. He just heals him with a thought. And then he tells him, it's your trust, it's your faith in me that has healed you. And Jesus then turns and heads out of town. Now, let's not get hung up on Bartimaeus and the amount of faith he had in Jesus as if it were the strength or quality of his faith that made the difference. That'll just lead you to frustration about the quality of your own faith because we've all experienced situations, some perhaps even as difficult as blindness, that have not been healed or restored. And maybe we kick ourselves because our faith is just not strong enough. But I don't think the strength or amount or quality of my faith is the point. The point is, whom do I trust? With whom am I connected? I think Jesus is saying to Bartimaeus, because of your trusting connection to me, I can heal you. Go on your way. The main thing is walking faithfully with Jesus, growing our trust in him and leaving the answers to prayer, sometimes even miracles, to his discretion. Trusting him. Faith. His love endures forever, and it is for us if we humbly put our trust in him and try to walk in his way. Well, that's all I got today. Have a great week.